Question 1. What is a key benefit of implementing infrastructure as code, IAC, in Dell EMC cloud environments? A. Increased hardware utilization B. Reduced operational overhead C. Enhanced network security D. Improved user authentication. The correct answer is B. Reduced operational overhead. Explanation. Implementing infrastructure as code, IAC, in Dell EMC cloud environments offers the key benefit of reducing operational overhead. With IAC, infrastructure configurations are managed programmatically through code scripts, allowing for automation of provisioning, deployment, and management tasks. Question 2. Which Dell EMC cloud service provides scalable, on-demand access to virtualized computing resources over the Internet? A. Dell EMC Cloud Storage B. Dell EMC Cloud Data Protection C. Dell EMC Cloud Compute D. Dell EMC Cloud Networking. The correct answer is C. Dell EMC Cloud Compute. Explanation. Dell EMC Cloud Compute is the cloud service that provides scalable, on-demand access to virtualized computing resources over the Internet. It enables organizations to provision and manage virtual machines VMs, in the cloud, allowing for flexible allocation of CPU, memory, and storage resources based on workload requirements. Question 3. What is a key advantage of Dell EMC's cloud infrastructure solutions compared to traditional on-premises infrastructure? A. Lower initial investment costs B. Higher network latency C. Limited scalability D. Increased data security. The correct answer is A. Lower initial investment costs. Explanation. One of the key advantages of Dell EMC's cloud infrastructure solutions is the lower initial investment costs compared to traditional on-premises infrastructure. With cloud solutions, Organizations can avoid significant upfront capital expenditures on hardware and software, as well as ongoing maintenance and upgrade expenses. Question 4. Which aspect of Dell EMC's cloud infrastructure solutions contributes to improved agility and responsiveness in meeting dynamic business needs? A. Vendor lock in B. Standardized hardware C. Manual provisioning processes D. Long procurement cycles. The correct answer is B. Standardized hardware. Explanation. Standardized hardware is a key aspect of Dell EMC's cloud infrastructure solutions that contributes to improved agility and responsiveness in meeting dynamic business needs. By using standardized hardware components, organizations can streamline deployment processes, simplify management tasks, and achieve greater consistency and interoperability across diverse environments. Question 5. Which factor is driving the adoption of Dell EMC's cloud infrastructure solutions among modern enterprises? A. Decreased data mobility B. Limited application support C. Increased data center complexity D. Enhanced business agility. The correct answer is D. Enhanced business agility. Explanation. Enhanced business agility is a key factor driving the adoption of Dell EMC's cloud infrastructure solutions among modern enterprises. By leveraging cloud technologies, organizations can rapidly deploy and scale IT resources, accelerate application development cycles, and respond more effectively to changing market conditions and customer demands. Question 6. Which cloud deployment model provides dedicated infrastructure and resources for exclusive use by a single organization? A. Public Cloud B. Private Cloud C. Hybrid Cloud D. Community Cloud. The correct answer is B. Private Cloud. Explanation. The private cloud deployment model provides dedicated infrastructure and resources for exclusive use by a single organization. In a private cloud environment, the infrastructure is owned, operated, and managed either by the organization itself or by a third-party service provider on behalf of the organization. Question 7. What is a primary objective of implementing cloud bursting in Dell EMC cloud environments? A. 
Reducing Network Latency B. Enhancing Disaster Recovery Capabilities C. Optimizing Resource Utilization D. Improving Data Encryption. The correct answer is C. Optimizing Resource Utilization. Explanation. The primary objective of implementing cloud bursting in Dell EMC cloud environments is to optimize resource utilization. Cloud bursting enables organizations to dynamically extend their on-premises infrastructure into public cloud resources during periods of peak demand, such as seasonal spikes or unexpected workload surges. Question 8. Which Dell EMC cloud service provides data protection and disaster recovery capabilities for virtualized workloads? A. Dell EMC Cloud Storage B. Dell EMC Cloud Data Protection C. Dell EMC Cloud Compute D. Dell EMC Cloud Networking. The correct answer is B. Dell EMC Cloud Data Protection. Explanation. Dell EMC Cloud Data Protection is the cloud service that provides data protection and disaster recovery capabilities for virtualized workloads. It offers features such as backup, replication, and recovery of VMs and data across hybrid cloud environments, ensuring data availability, integrity, and resilience against various types of data loss scenarios. Question 9. Which characteristic of Dell EMC's cloud infrastructure solutions promotes greater efficiency and resource optimization? A. Vendor lock in B. Proprietary protocols C. Multi tenancy support D. Limited scalability. The correct answer is C. Multi tenancy support. Explanation. Multi-tenancy support is a characteristic of Dell EMC's cloud infrastructure solutions that promotes greater efficiency and resource optimization. Multi-tenancy allows multiple users or tenants to share a common pool of resources, including computing, storage, and networking infrastructure, while maintaining isolation and security between tenants. Question 10. Which compliance standard is commonly referenced in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure deployments to address data privacy requirements? A. HIPAA B. SOX C. FISMA D. PCIDSS The correct answer is A. HIPAA Explanation The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA is commonly referenced in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure deployments to address data privacy requirements, particularly in healthcare-related environments. HIPAA sets forth regulations for safeguarding protected health information FI, and requires covered entities and their business associates to implement appropriate security measures to protect sensitive patient data in cloud environments. Question 11. What role does automation play in Dell EMC's cloud infrastructure solutions? A. Increases operational complexity B. Slows down deployment processes C. Enhances scalability and agility D. Reduces security controls. The correct answer is C. Enhances scalability and agility. Explanation. Automation plays a crucial role in Dell EMC's cloud infrastructure solutions by enhancing scalability and agility. Through automation tools and frameworks, Organizations can streamline repetitive tasks, such as provisioning, configuration management, and workload orchestration, to accelerate deployment processes and improve operational efficiency. Question 12. What is a fundamental principle of security in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure deployments? A. Shared responsibility model. B. Single factor authentication. C. Public disclosure of vulnerabilities. D. Limited encryption protocols. The correct answer is A. Shared responsibility model. Explanation. A fundamental principle of security in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure deployments is the shared responsibility model. According to this model, while cloud service providers, CSPs, are responsible for securing the underlying infrastructure, customers are accountable for securing their data applications, and configurations within the cloud environment. Question 13. 
Which security mechanism helps prevent unauthorized access to Dell EMC cloud infrastructure resources? A. Single sign-on, SSO, B. Biometric authentication, C. Network segmentation, D. Password sharing. The correct answer is C. Network segmentation. Explanation. Network segmentation is a security mechanism that helps prevent unauthorized access to Dell EMC cloud infrastructure resources by dividing the network into smaller, isolated segments or sub-networks. Question 14. What is a primary benefit of implementing a cloud bursting strategy in a hybrid cloud environment? A. Minimizing data egress costs B. Maximizing on-premises resource utilization C. Ensuring data sovereignty compliance D. Improving application performance. The correct answer is D. Improving application performance. Explanation. A primary benefit of implementing a cloud bursting strategy in a hybrid cloud environment is improving application performance. Cloud bursting enables organizations to dynamically scale application workloads from on premises infrastructure to public cloud resources during periods of peak demand ensuring that applications can handle increased workload requirements without performance degradation or resource constraints. Question 15. What is the purpose of conducting regular security audits and assessments in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure deployments? A. To validate compliance with industry standards B. To increase network latency C. To reduce data encryption D. To minimize security controls. The correct answer is A. To validate compliance with industry standards. Explanation. The purpose of conducting regular security audits and assessments in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure deployments is to validate compliance with industry standards, regulatory requirements, and organizational policies. Question 16. What is a key consideration when implementing a hybrid cloud strategy with DSIS FN23? A. Standardizing on a single cloud provider B. Maximizing data sovereignty requirements C. Optimizing workload placement D. Minimizing network latency. The correct answer is C. Optimizing workload placement. Explanation. One key consideration when implementing a hybrid cloud strategy with DSIS FN23 is optimizing workload placement. Workload placement involves determining which workloads should run on-premises, in the public cloud, or in a combination of both to achieve the desired balance of performance, cost, security, and compliance. Question 17. Which factor is essential for ensuring seamless integration between on-premises infrastructure and public cloud services in a hybrid cloud environment? A. Consistent data replication protocols B. Cross-platform API compatibility C. Unified Identity and Access Management D. Homogeneous Network Architecture. The correct answer is C. Unified Identity and Access Management. Explanation. Unified Identity and Access Management is essential for ensuring seamless integration between on-premises infrastructure and public cloud services in a hybrid cloud environment. It involves establishing a centralized identity provider and access control mechanism that spans both on-premises and cloud-based resources, allowing users to authenticate and access resources consistently across heterogeneous environments. Question 18. What is a potential challenge associated with data governance in a hybrid cloud environment? A. Lack of data redundancy B. Inconsistent data classification C. Limited data access controls D. Excessive data encryption. The correct answer is B. Inconsistent data classification. Explanation. A potential challenge associated with data governance in a hybrid cloud environment is inconsistent data classification. In hybrid cloud deployments, data may reside across multiple environments with varying levels of security, compliance, and access requirements. Without standardized data classification policies and practices, organizations may struggle to categorize and manage data consistently, leading to fragmentation, misclassification, 
and increased risk of data breaches or compliance violations. Question 19. Which encryption standard is commonly employed to protect data at rest in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure deployments? A. AES B. MD5C Day D. SHA-1 The correct answer is A. AES. Explanation. The advanced encryption standard, AES, is commonly employed to protect data at rest in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure deployments. AES is a symmetric encryption algorithm widely recognized for its strong cryptographic security and efficiency in safeguarding sensitive data stored on disk or in storage systems. Question 20. Which Dell EMC D Sys FN23 feature facilitates workload performance optimization by dynamically balancing network traffic across multiple paths? A. Quality of service, COS, B. Load balancing C. Virtual LAN, VLAN, D. Network encryption. The correct answer is B. Load balancing. Explanation. Load balancing is a Dell EMC D Sys FN23 feature that facilitates workload performance optimization by dynamically balancing network traffic across multiple paths. Load balancers distribute incoming network traffic across multiple servers or network resources to ensure optimal resource utilization, prevent bottlenecks, and maximize application performance. Question 21. What is a key benefit of implementing serverless computing in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure? A. Reduced operational overhead B. Increased hardware utilization C. Higher upfront capital investment D. Enhanced network bandwidth The correct answer is A. Reduced operational overhead Explanation a key benefit of implementing serverless computing in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure is reduced operational overhead. Serverless computing abstracts server management tasks, such as provisioning, scaling, and maintenance, from the user, allowing developers to focus on writing code without worrying about server management. Question 22. Which pricing model offers flexibility and cost optimization for variable workloads in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure deployments? A. Reserved instances B. On-demand pricing C. Spot instances D. Pay as you go. The correct answer is C. Spot instances. Explanation. Spot instances offer flexibility and cost optimization for variable workloads in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure deployments. Spot instances allow users to bid on unused compute capacity enabling them to access spare capacity at significantly lower prices compared to standard on-demand instances. Question 23. How does Dell EMC D Sys FN23 utilize caching to enhance workload performance? A. By storing frequently accessed data in high-speed memory B. By compressing data to reduce storage overhead C. By encrypting data to ensure security D. By synchronizing data across multiple sites. The correct answer is A. By storing frequently accessed data in high-speed memory. Explanation. Dell EMC D Sys FN23 utilizes caching to enhance workload performance by storing frequently accessed data in high-speed memory. Caching involves temporarily storing copies of frequently accessed data in a fast access cache layer, such as RAM or solid-state drives, SSDs, closer to the computing resources that require it. Question 24. What cost optimization technique involves analyzing historical usage patterns to forecast future resource requirements in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure? A. Right sizing B. Tagging C. Cloud bursting D. Predictive scaling. The correct answer is D. Predictive scaling. Explanation. Predictive scaling involves analyzing historical usage patterns to forecast future resource requirements in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure. By leveraging machine learning algorithms and predictive analytics, organizations can anticipate workload fluctuations, spikes in demand, 
and seasonal trends to proactively adjust resource provisioning and scale infrastructure accordingly. Question 25. Which cost optimization strategy involves decommissioning underutilized or redundant resources in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure deployments? A. Right sizing B. Cloud bursting C. Multi cloud deployment D. Elastic load balancing. The correct answer is A. Right sizing. Explanation. Right sizing involves decommissioning underutilized or redundant resources in Dell EMC cloud infrastructure deployments. By right sizing resources, organizations can match workload requirements more accurately with the appropriate instance types, storage configurations, and network capacities, thereby optimizing resource allocation, reducing waste, and controlling cloud costs. Question 26. In the context of Dell EMC cloud environments, what is a primary goal of data replication for disaster recovery purposes? A. Minimizing data storage costs B. Maximizing network bandwidth utilization C. Ensuring data availability and continuity D. Optimizing data access latency The correct answer is C. Ensuring data availability and continuity. Explanation. In Dell EMC cloud environments, a primary goal of data replication for disaster recovery purposes is to ensure data availability and continuity. Data replication involves creating and maintaining identical copies of data across geographically dispersed locations or storage systems, allowing organizations to recover data rapidly in the event of data loss, corruption, or disaster. Question 27. Which Dell EMC cloud feature enables organizations to automate the failover process during a disaster recovery event? A. Automated backup B. Snap mirror C. Storage tiering D. Continuous data protection. The correct answer is B. Snap mirror. Explanation. Snap Mirror is a Dell EMC cloud feature that enables organizations to automate the failover process during a disaster recovery event. Snap Mirror replicates data asynchronously or synchronously between primary and secondary storage systems, ensuring that data changes are consistently mirrored to remote sites or cloud regions. In the event of a disaster or data loss. Question 28. How does artificial intelligence assist in optimizing cost management in Dell EMC cloud deployments? A. AI increases resource over-provisioning B. AI automates billing and invoicing processes C. AI eliminates the need for capacity planning D. AI analyzes usage patterns and recommends cost-saving measures. The correct answer is D. AI analyzes usage patterns and recommends cost-saving measures. Explanation. Artificial intelligence, I, assists in optimizing cost management in Dell EMC cloud deployments by analyzing usage patterns and recommending cost-saving measures. AI-driven cost optimization tools can identify inefficiencies, unused resources, and opportunities for cost reduction, enabling organizations to implement strategies such as right-sizing, reservation purchases, and workload consolidation. Question 29. In what way does machine learning contribute to improving customer experience in Dell EMC cloud services? A. Machine learning automates customer support ticket generation B. Machine learning optimizes network bandwidth usage C. Machine learning personalizes service recommendations D. Machine learning encrypts customer data. The correct answer is C. Machine learning personalizes service recommendations. Explanation. Machine learning contributes to improving customer experience in Dell EMC cloud services by personalizing service recommendations based on user preferences, behavior, and historical interactions. By analyzing customer data, machine learning algorithms can identify patterns, understand user preferences, and offer tailored recommendations for products, services, and support resources. Question 30. Which Dell EMC D SIS FN23 feature helps optimize workload performance by prioritizing critical application traffic over less time sensitive traffic? A. Quality of service, COS, B. Network segmentation, C. 
Data deduplication D. Role-based access control. The correct answer is A. Quality of service, COS. Explanation. Quality of service, COS, is a Dell EMC D SIS FN23 feature that helps optimize workload performance by prioritizing critical application traffic over less time sensitive traffic. COS mechanisms allow administrators to define and enforce traffic prioritization policies based on application requirements, ensuring that mission critical workloads receive sufficient network bandwidth and latency guarantees to meet performance objectives.